Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we're gonna to be talking about Microsoft Power Toys. Now this is a suite of utilities that you can install onto your Windows computer that add a ton of customizations, including one of my favorite where when you double tap your control button, you get this highlight circle animation on your mouse pointer and it makes it easier to find your mouse pointer. That's just one of a ton of things you can do. So hang on out, we'll be right back and we'll get into it. Now, Power Toys does not come already installed on your computer, you have to download it. But it's super simple, you just come to this website which is microsoft.com, en hyphen US, I'm assuming that's English US, so that part might be different for different countries, slash windows slash power toys. I, of course, will have a link to this site in the video description down below. But in here, it talks about what Power Toys is, all the different utilities that are included, and what you can do with them. Now, as I said, this is available for Windows. It doesn't say anywhere on here if it's only Windows 11, so I'm assuming Windows 10 will work as well. It does have processor support information here, and then it has a list of the current utilities but we're gonna take a look at those here in a second. At the very top though, you see this blue button. This is to download and you just install it like a normal program. Once it is installed, you can do a search for Power Toys to launch the program. You can also come down to the Show Hidden Icons section here and your Power Toys is here as well. Double tapping on that, double clicking on that will bring up your window. On the left here, we have all the different categories that we have for the Power Toys utilities. And when you click on one of these, it shows up on the right here. Now there's a ton of things in here, but the one we're gonna focus on today is our mouse utilities. So if I click on that, we have several things that we can play around with in the mouse utilities. And many of these are going to be super helpful for us with low vision, namely finding my mouse. This is the one that I have turned on. You can set it to enable or disable that. You can choose how it is activated. Right now I have it set to press left control twice. So if I double tap the left control button, we get the animation, the screen darkens and all of that but I can change this also to a shake of the mouse. So now if I shake the mouse, it also does that. If you click on a section here, you get a drop down of things that you can adjust. So here I can do the overlay opacity. I can also change the background color if I want, maybe let's do a, uh, let's do it, make it a red. Brighten it up there. So now if I do it, now the screen goes red. So you can choose how much contrast you want. We can also do the color of the highlights. So maybe I want that to be, uh, let's see, how about blue? And then we brighten that up. So now it's blue. Spotlight initial zoom. This changes the spotlight zoom factor at animation start. Animation duration. So this is how long it takes to do the zoom in. Maybe here, let's do 1000. See what that looks like. Slower, much slower. And then you can set exclusion apps. These are apps that when the app is running, when you double tap the control to initiate the animation, it does not work because they are excluded. The next one is mouse highlighter. This creates a little highlighted area whenever you click the mouse. So I'm gonna turn it on and we have a little keyboard shortcut to enable or disable it or to trigger it, I guess you could say. It's Windows, Shift and H. So Windows, Shift and H. So now you see a little dot pops whenever I click and it fades away after a second or two. And we have lots of options here, just like before we can change. There's a right, left click and a right click. So if I left click, it's yellow. If I right click, it's blue. 
You can change the sizing, the opacity, all of that. Next we have mouse jump, and this is a way to quickly jump your mouse from one area of the screen to another. Might not be the most helpful for us, but I'll show you how it works. I've got it turned on. And once again, we have another keyboard shortcut to activate it. This is the Windows key, the Shift key, and the letter D. So if I hit those, I get a little preview window here that pops up of my desktop. And so our mouse is over here to the right, but if I go all the way to the left over up by my recycle bin and I click in this area, you see my mouse jumps over to that area super quickly. But this one is pretty cool, mouse pointer crosshairs. So this puts crosshairs on your mouse pointer. Turned it on, and once again, we have a keyboard shortcut, Windows, Alt, and the letter P for pointer, I imagine. Windows, Alt, and P. And there we go, we have crosshairs now on our mouse pointer to make it easier to find. And just like before, we have options to change these. You can change the th thickness of it. Let's go 10, see how thick that is. So there you go. Let's go 100. <laughs> There's 100. So you can make it whatever thickness you want. Obviously, you can make it whatever color you want. Here you can change how far away the crosshairs start from your mouse pointer. So if I, right now it's set to 20, if I just add a zero, you see now the crosshairs are pretty far from my pointer. So that might be helpful when lining up your pointer with an item, those crosshairs aren't going to get in the way. So those are all the different mouse utilities in Power Toys. Once again, come in here and play around with some of these things. You can turn them on or turn them off so there's no danger in experimenting. Some of these are pretty good. Text Extractor, for example, it's a super easy way to get to copy down text from anywhere on screen. Lots of cool stuff here. Paste as plain text. Ooh, I need to look at that. <laughs> That's something I do all the time. All right, so that was Power Toys for Windows. Once again, the link will be in the video description. You can download it, install it, it's free, and it could add a ton of helpful customizations to your computer. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. You can also visit my website, theblindlife.net, and connect with me through there. If you found the video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I put out helpful videos like this every single Saturday. But that's it for this one, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.